Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the lives of Nico and Michelle. We have come together to witness your work and your plans and your love in the lives of these two people. We do stand amazed at how you work and you do all things well. And we ask for your presence to be amongst us this afternoon. So Nico and Michelle actually started dating while Michelle and I were still living together. And Nico enters the room. Uh, <laughs> she was back home in Zimbabwe and she comes back and that's like the first mention I ever heard of Nico. <laughs> uh, she's like, oh, this guy keeps messaging me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it, I was like, oh, I think he likes you. And she's like, oh, no, he doesn't like me. <laughs> Whatever. I was like, he definitely likes you. He's keen, man. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, that's how Nico entered the picture. And honestly, Nico is my soul brother. I am so thankful for him and Michelle's life. He has just been such a blessing to her and to us and to just a great friend straight from the start. And so oh, I'm nervous that I'm speeding through this, but honestly... I can't say enough about what a great person Michelle is, how much I love her, how much I care for her, and I wouldn't want anyone else to be with my best friend. I'm just very thankful for you, Nico, and I'm thankful for the way you love Michelle and you cherish her. Together as one, we're meant to be. This is clear as day to me. With eyes that light up fireflies, of course I try a million times. The earth is dark and cold, but your heart can warm us all. Your undying love of God is an inspiration to me, like you are one to strive to be. My love for you will never end, my angel your heaven sent. I love you Michelle, these words my mouth will always tell. <laughs> That's the reason. <laughs> to my love and my best friend, from this day on I vow to protect you, to trust you and respect you as the head of our home. I vow to love you without reservation or expectation, and to listen to you in the best way I know how all the while valuing our differences as much as our common ground. As we seek God's will for our lives, I give up my need to be right. <laughs> Knowing that we are on the same team, I promise to support you, cherish you, encourage you, and provide a safe place for our family to grow and flourish. <laughs> Always upholding our marriage in prayer, I vow to remain faithful and true to you through life's ups and downs from this day forward until the end. <laughs> Michelle, I know that you're going to be a great wife to Nico, and I know that when the time comes, you're going to be a wonderful mother, and I know that you're going to be a blessing to the family that you've married into. But I just want to welcome you, Nico, into our, our family and to welcome the whole um, Nickel family. We, it's a great privilege for us to be able to join together through this marriage. And I want to thank God for you. And I want to thank you for choosing Michelle. And I want to thank you for loving her and for caring for her. And I, I've seen it as we've watched this relationship develop. We've seen your love and your care for her and we are very grateful for that so we appreciate you when God puts love and compassion in your heart towards someone he's offering you an opportunity to make a difference in the person's life you must learn to follow that love don't ignore it act on it somebody needs what you have you have such a big heart. You're bound to have it. Bump a couple of things along the way. Never make it smaller so that your journey will be easier because there might come a time when you will need the magnitude of your heart to help others in this life. No one wishes this, the sun to be smaller so that they can find their way west or the North Star to find their way home. Be grateful to your big heart 
for each pump brings new life. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. <laughs>